Okay, great evening. Well, I thought I would take a look because the uh, their witness was in there for over 10 hours today. So I wanted to take a look and see what took place. So here's the reading that I got. Um, in the center of it all, we have them. They are very happy with hearing this testimony today, that they are feeling a sense of empowerment um, after this. Uh, it was a long thing, you know, uh, surrounding it was some balance, understanding, you know, what was going on, some more truth to it, giving them some more clarity as to what was taking place. Uh, the foundation of it, we have, uh, you know, the spin that she inherited working for Trump, uh, working for rather the, the uh, position she was in. She inherited all this nonsense working there. Um, so she wanted to fill them in on uh, what was taking place the people that were involved in it because she wanted to see the strength of uh, justice taking place and because she sees the manipulations going on with Trump. Uh, what and, and she, you know, they're just not having it anymore. Okay, so above that, what we have going on is, of course, the Republicans are going to fight against it. They they do not like the fact that these things are coming out. Uh, they're they're going to fight against it. But what we have is moving forward. Chariot moving forward. Shaman of birth. This is birthing new things. And again, there's some appreciation for them coming forward and singing her song, you know, to let them know it was very fruitful. <laughs> what she was saying today was very fruitful and it just birthed more uh, clarity for moving forward. Uh, so this is definitely gonna move it forward and it doesn't matter how much the Republicans, some of them want to fight against it, this is gonna keep going forward and uh, bring more clarity to things. So um, that's what I got for today. Uh, it looks like it was a very, that she was just point blank um, <clears throat> putting things out there. They got a lot more information. And don't forget, we have more people coming up the next one that's coming up was uh, basically going to say what it looked like was that Trump told me to say that. Trump wrote this out and specifically told me to say that there was no collusion. This did not come from me. This was directed by Trump telling me that I had to say this, okay? And Trump's going, you could see what he said, that he said, there's nothing there. Read his text. He's the one that's texting it. <laughs> so, yeah, Trump directs people to do all this stuff, and then he denies it later and acts like he had nothing to do with it when it's all his scheme and his, you know, his directive. So yeah, it's more and more is coming down. And, uh, but the day's testimony uh, behind closed doors went really, really well, it appears. <laughs> oh, it was like hitting the jackpot. We've got the fortune card here like hitting the jackpot, okay? The more of these people that come forward and, and talk, uh, yeah, the better it is, yeah. Uh, 
dog. Okay, so the next, I pulled one from the Leah Norman. The next one that's going to go and speak is the guy, and it says, listen to what he says, okay? <laughs> listen to what he says. He's going to have a lot to say, and you need to listen to him, you know, about how they were controlled. Um, that Trump micromanaged everything, okay? Trump micromanaged everything. Convention, yeah. This was, this was set up by the White House. This was set up by Trump, okay? They were not acting on their own. They were directed by Trump. Like Cohen said, you know, you know his talk, you know what he wants. He makes it very clear without actually saying it, you know. Uh, and so Trump thinks that's going to protect him. It's, it's not, it's not going to protect him, okay. So, uh, yeah, I think what is it that the... One guy that gave a million bucks and Trump put him in that position and now he's in a position uh, that's, that, yeah, he's got to defend himself, defense. He's coming forward and, and is, uh, it feels like he's got to defend himself now. Okay. So we'll see what happens when he, when he testifies. Yeah. Yeah, because I think it was, we've got the wife card, that, but I think that could be like a, the marriage thing. We've got Trump holding on to that. We've got this, you know, movement. He was there to go overseas to do these things. And he was directed by Trump. It could also be the guy's wife has had enough and said, you need to talk. That could be also as well. But again, he's going to talk about Trump. The one that sits there and it demands loyalty, demands this, demands that. Okay. And uh, thinks he's a mob boss. And treats everybody like, uh, again, like he's the godfather. Okay? He's going to give them an offer they can't refuse, you know. Uh, I think they're they're past the point where they think they're going to wake up with a horse head in their bed. So <laughs> they're going to spill the beans. They're going to spill the beans now. Yeah, Trump is, is going down. I mean, every the more people that talk, the more he's going under quickly. So again, today was very fruitful. Sang her song, Songbird, for 10 hours. I am sure that the ones in the Senate, Senate are getting antsy now. Jim Jordan, Gates, all of those little sycophants, Trump's little sycophants, are getting worried now after 10 hours of testimony in there. So I'm going to leave this here. It was a good day for the opposition here. <laughs> I'll see you online. Aho.